What's going on guys? This is Pat here. Uh, welcome back to episode 7 of HBFADC. And uh, I'm just going to hand it right over to Tyler. Oh, you're so... On his birthday too, he would hand over the po hand over our podcast slash comedy show. Slash... Oh great, now we're <laughs> my fucking birthday. You fucking... Like how many comments you're going to get? Like none, but that's cool. I know. You're going to get like one like, from one. Snow. That's it. Yeah, I was going to say Snow. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I like, Carlo, I love you. Um, Alright, what well, we're going to talk about this, this this special night on... Uh, Pat, what time were you born? Do you know the exact time? Fuck that, dude. Fucking I just want to call your mom. I want to talk to your mom and be like, listen, Miss, Mrs. I don't want to say your last name. Mrs. Mrs. You-know-who. You know, you delivered Mr. <laughs> Mrs. Merck. <laughs> Mrs. Merck, you delivered Pat into this world 21 years ago. And, uh, not beautiful. It's like 9, <laughs> 9, 50, 50, 40, 9, something. In the morning or at night? A.M. Th that beautiful day, that beautiful morning, in January morning, you you delivered, uh, life to, uh, a good friend and, uh, future gaming superstar. And, well, he, he's, 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 he's he games. But, let's, m Mrs. Merck, um, your son... He's he lost all his motor skills when he was born. All right, fuck you. All right, let's let's change this shit. <laughs> I don't want to be talking about my mother. All right. Anyways, <clears throat> we're gonna talk about Black Ops and uh, Treyarch and uh, or Treyarch and uh, Infinity Ward. We're gonna talk about a lot of stuff, but I have some stuff I want to bring up. A lot of some people have been saying, you know, we uh, make accusations against uh. Treyarch and Black Ops saying it's a horrible game, which it's it, it's a bad game. It has its flaws, but there are some good things about it. And uh, we really want to uh, express our opinions and back our opinions up with with some facts and our feelings. You know, of what, this is why we don't like the game, or this is you know this is well, Treyarch did this right, but they didn't do this right. So we felt like we should you know give some uh, narrative to why we don't like <clears throat> Black Ops so much. Um, Pat, you want me to go first? Or would you like to go first? Uh, you started it off. I'm gonna roll off what you said. Okay, that sounds good, because you usually do. Just fucking feed off me, you leech. Um, <laughs> don't eat, don't. Uh, if you want it to be interesting, it needs to be this way. <laughs> Alright, well, I, the thing is, Pat, I, the, a lot of people say, you, you know, you've asked me, what, how would I describe Black Ops, and I kind of said, it's like Call of Duty 4 and World of War had a, uh, had a baby with some up res graphics, and they took what they learned from the community, you know, and put that into their newest game. The problem I think with that is they listened to the community too much. They didn't they didn't cater enough to the quote unquote hardcore uh, shooter like Call of Duty Black the Call of Duty player like ourselves like the people who play almost every night. They didn't cater to us enough. They catered too much to the other the other side. Um, they put it into the majority of the players, which we're not technically a majority. Yeah, we're <laughs> if you think about all the people who are hardcore gamers and that do well in the Call of Duty community, you know, consistently do well like us, that's a small fucking percentage. That's like 2% of the Call of Duty population. Yeah, and we do it legit. Yeah. We don't camp in a corner with Ghost Prom. Uh, yeah. Uh, you see, you've been play playing recently. Um, I was just playing 20 minutes but ago. I think I I'm so happy you brought it <laughs> into this podcast so I didn't have to fucking play that game anymore. I, I, the thing I kind of used to describe it when I was talking to somebody the other day, I said Black Ops is kind of like a gamer-made game. Does that make sense? Does that, does that make sense? It's, it's a gamer-made game. I mean, I, I don't know how else to describe it. It, uh, it, I think they listen to the community way too much, like I said, uh, like I'm, I mean, it's, they listen to the community way too much. Didn't cater enough to the hardcore, catered way too much to the majority, the mainstream audience of Call of Duty. That's what I don't like <clears throat> about Treyarch, is they're, they're, the thing they do right though is also they listen to the community, so that's kind of their downfall is also their their positive. So, I mean, they listen to the community. They constantly put out patches. They're constantly getting feedback and trying to help it and trying to update the game. The problem they didn't they don't do well is they don't make a smooth and precise game. Their controls aren't smooth enough. The graphics aren't really you know clean as clean as they could be. And a lot of people say, well, they have a, a, a they have to use the Modern Warfare 2 engine or a dumbed down version of that engine or whatever they what excuse they want to put. And I say, well, uh, tough shit. Once you make your own good engine and not rely on another company that works for the same publisher, 
Uh, yeah. Maybe, perhaps. No, uh, maybe. <laughs> I don't know. That, that's that's how I feel about it. Uh, me saying that Infinity Ward also does. I mean, has some flaws too. Infinity Ward makes a great looking, precise, fucking awesome game. Is that correct? Oh yeah, the fucking the, the hit yeah. detection in Black Ops compared to the hit detection in Modern Warfare Two is fucking shit. Leaps and bounds, right? Modern Warfare Two is leaps and bounds better. Oh yeah. The problem is the Infinity Ward puts overpowered guns and sh and they don't take feedback to nerf guns and and kind of put a stop to the cheap tactics. I mean, how, how long did it take them to fix the care package glitch? About Too long. Three, yeah, it's three months, right? Yeah. Three four months. There was a care package glitch the day fucking Black Ops came out, and I believe that was patched by that night. Yeah, it was it was fixed. I mean, that that one thing. Infinity Ward did not, their downfall is they don't listen to the community, they're not able to help or to, you know, help out their community and support it, support their game online. And so now they're gone. And, yeah, and now they're gone. Oh, well, they're still there, but the, the good people aren't there anymore. <laughs> um, I mean, is, am, I, am I crazy for, for you know saying that? Is that kind of how you feel too? Or Yeah, I, it, I don't even fucking know where to go with the topic. You basically said everything I wanted to say. Fucking fucking owned <laughs> <laughs> the other problem I really have with you know black ops is the hit detection is horribly off I'll be shooting a dude and he doesn't die he just doesn't it takes in my opinion I like you know a couple shot kills a couple shots to kill a guy it takes too many bullets to kill somebody in this game and I don't care if I'm shooting you in the foot ten times or I'm shooting you in the head ten times well I mean if I shoot you in the foot ten times you're gonna limp away if you're lucky but yeah, I mean, we should die after four hits to the foot or three. It, it's stupid the amount of hit markers I'd be uh, I'd be putting. Wow, I just want to be putting. You yeah, be putting, son. Look wow. at you turn twenty one. You're crazy. You talk crazy now. I don't know. I don't like this new pat. Fuck you. But uh, the amount of hit markers I'm hitting people with. I don't. You lost me. Lose my fan thought. You fucker. Um, sorry, the amount of hit markers you put on somebody is not equal to the amount of ammo you're wasting. I said. I've. I've said that before. You put out an inordinate, a crazy amount of fucking ammo on somebody. So much ammo gets wasted in this game, and a lot of people complain about it. Is because the hit detection sh is shit. Oh yeah. You're putting so many goddamn bullets out, and they're not all registering. So that's why we waste so much ammo in this game, which is a huge fucking pain in the ass. By the way, I mean. Yeah. And uh, fucking, I use extended mags with some of my guns just because you fucking need it. Yeah, I use and dual mags. And then, guess what? Mag. You're out of fucking ammo within <laughs> three mags. Three mags. Fuck that. All right, um, the mat, the, um, shit, bringing that. people into lobbies and shit is also another huge problem. Has it gotten worse? I heard it's gotten better, actually. It, uh, it was better than it was. I know damn sure. Oh, yeah, that. it's a little bit better. But, uh. Like I'll be, I'll be playing at that, that, that. I'll be playing with, uh, you know, Spot, Panda, and, and a couple other guys. And I'm not gonna lie, when I'm with them, we wreck house. Wow, look at, look at these words I'm using. Um, you have games with them. I have games with them too. So yeah, uh, we we play headquarters, and I we. I think I have that game posted for you. It's gonna be posted in this in this uh this episode. I think I'm posting it on launch. I don't know, but uh, like. We will make the other team quit out, and they they'll bring other people in, and then enemies forfeiting in ten, and then fucking boom, the game ends while people are in the lobby. So they yeah. bring people in to just lose. Basically, and, and that pisses me off. I mean, it doesn't happen to me. I don't join games that are over. I try not to, but I mean, it's just it's an annoying. If you play by yourself like me, that happens a lot to me. Oh, I can't do that. I will not play this game without at least two, three people. All right, well that's that's enough on Black Ops. That's kind of what we feel. We'll do something if you guys want us to do more. Leave some comments, you know, leave some feedback, and we'll do more. Um, I actually watched the last last Exorcism. Pat watched it last week, and he talked about it, and then I watched it last night. I actually thought it was pretty cool. You said you liked it, but you didn't like the ending. I actually did like the ending. I thought it was a cool, awesome ending. <laughs> I was fucking confused at the ending. I, I meh. I, I thought what it was, the hell's going on? I thought on. it was a cool, awesome, like crazy, like fast-paced way to end that movie. Oh yeah, it was. I mean, don't get me wrong. Came I, out of nowhere. I was like, oh shit. I was very confused at what the hell happened though. So I just maybe if I watch it again, I'll understand something. But I don't yeah. really plan on it. I didn't watch any documentaries this week. I failed you guys. I'm sorry. I uh, I've been. Uh, Wicked busy to uh, in doing stuff. So oh, don't even you hella bastard. <laughs> hella bastard. I don't say hella that much. 
Oh, well, fucking... Fuck I off. don't. So... You're fucking queer. Um... Here we go. Bond... Bond 23? You heard about this? What? 23rd Bond movie. It's not officially called Bond 23. That's the project name. Uh... It's the next Bond film set to release. They have an actual release date, November 9th, 2012. So just before the world ends, that's good. Um, Fucking hate you. Shut up. All right, continue. <laughs> it's a direct follow-up to Quantum of Solace, just like Quantum of Solace was a direct follow-up follow up to Casino Royale. So I'm, I'm fucking super excited for that. I love James Bond movies, um, especially the newer versions. Uh, Battlefield 3, it's going to be unveiled at GDC 20, uh, this GDC. So I'm excited for that in March. Um, GDC is a games developer conference, if you guys don't know, and it's a huge conference that they, you know, it's just an awesome conference for developers, uh, journalists and all that stuff. And, uh, COD, uh, Call of Duty 8, I guess, Modern Warfare 3, whatever the hell you want to call it, uh, it's going to be made by, uh, Sledgehammer. Or, is, or yeah, the Call of made Duty so 4, pre, whatever the fuck it's going to be. Well, it's, it's going to be something, it's going to be made by, uh, Sledgehammer, most likely, they're the company who made, uh, Dead Space 2, I believe, and a bunch of other games, Sims, and there's there's a lot of other games. They have a, a repertoire, quite a, quite a big one at that, and uh, it's cool. they have quite Are you a talking about their penis? No, nah, never mind. All right. Anyways, just for that, guess who has a quiz for you? Let's go. <laughs> what? It's a uh, famous. It's movie lines, and you have to tell me the movie. You know I'm not as good as the fucking quotes as you. Yeah, but I think you there's uh, it's stacked in your favor. All right. All right. You all ready? No, like every okay. week. Here we go. I got nine questions for you. So I have nine attempts to fail. All, all right. right. Here we go. Ready? Why don't you go back to your home on Whore Island? Fuck, dude. Ah. Step brother? Anchor man. Close. Anchorman. Fuck me. Fuck. Close, same director, same actor. Um, oh, yeah, fuck. All right. Here's this one. I need your help. I can't tell you what it is. You oh, the town. Shut it. up. <laughs> but, and we're going to hurt people. Right, Whose car are we taking? Yeah, to the town. Ben right, Affleck. There you go. One, one for one out of two. You see, Jason was my son, and today is his birthday. Friday the 13th, part one. Yeah, there you go. See, I told you. Dude, stuff. I have every movie except for the new yeah, one. I know. I, That's why I, st I, I gave you one or two. I knew two for three. Oh, yeah, he gave me two so far. All right. Hey, fuck ass, give me a beer. Fucking Boondock Saints. There's four. Four for five. Or three for four, sorry. Three for four. They are the best, and they specialize in the ridiculous. Eight team. <laughs> I told you it was kind of stacked in your favor. Four for five. Here we go. Uh, this one you're not going to get. Dreams feel re real while we're in them. It's only when we wake up that we realize something was actually strange. Exception. Damn, you're good. What? What ain't no country I've ever heard of? They speak English and what? Pulp Fiction. <laughs> you're, you're not cheating, are you? <laughs> no, dude. I fucking I watched a clip on Pulp Fiction the other day. I swear to God. And All right, here we go. Everybody's going to be ahead. super excited for you. All right, here's another. Here's, here we go. I'm here, Huckleberry. Fuck, I know, I know. Val Kilmer? Kurt Russell? No. Sam Neill? No. Tombstone? No. Uh, fucking... Dude, you've been trying to get me to watch that movie for two, a year now. I, I've never seen it. I can't get I it anywhere. Love that movie. That's like one of my favorite movies of all time. It's so bad. It's so 90s. <clears throat> you know, the enemy's always been terrified of noise. Especially shotguns. Um, shut up, Expendables. Yeah. Terry Crews. <laughs> this big boy spitting out 250 rounds a minute. You tell me. Who's tolerating that? Absolutely zero. Yep, Expendables. Look at you, Mr. Pat. How many was that? What is it, eight, eight out of nine? Eight out of nine. No, seven. Eight. No, eight. You I, didn't get the, I didn't get the first one because it was oh, Anchorman. Yeah, sorry, my bad. Yeah. Seven out of nine. Still good. Passing. Yeah. Yay. <laughs> All right, queer. Um, so, uh, I'm actually... <laughs> I'm going to talk about some movies that uh, are coming out just briefly. Uh, oh, take me away, I'm done. <clears throat> by the way, uh, I just... Uh, Ghostbusters 3? Have you mm, heard? Game? Movie? Movie. Oh. It's Bill... It's, only question I have is yes. Bill Murray going to be in it. Okay, that's all Well, it's all rumored at this point, but I mean, come on. Um, it's being released 2012. 
Right before the world, you know, uh... Oh, weird. Crazy. Yeah, uh, it's rumored to be produced in 3D. That gay. Um... Oh, because they did so well with that game, I mean... <clears throat> Yeah. Uh, Swan did so well in theaters. I mean, God. All right, shut up. Uh, Bring some more stuff back from the 80s, guys. You are so... Oh, well, hmm. Uh, Green Hornet coming out this Friday, January 14th. Mm, I'm not really interested. I'm done with you, Seth Rogen. Yeah. Uh, it looks like a decent movie. I might go check it it's out. It's like Paul Rudd, Seth Rogen. I'm done with you. <laughs> but, um... You act like a used condom. All right, dude. Uh, The Dilemma, Vince Vaughn... Kevin James. And with both no. <laughs> well, fuck like, it. It's like I have a list in my hand. I'm just going, nope. nope All right. Nope. Fine, fucker. I know you've been waiting for this movie. I know I've been waiting for this movie. January 28th. What's coming out? Um, the, me the mechanic. You say it like it's a fucking, like an embarrassing like moment or something. Like no, there's a girl in the room. All right, fucking quit. Jason Statham, Ben Foster. Ben Foster. I'd marry Ben Foster if I could. I love that guy. Jesus! Oh, we can't get a fucking straight commentary. It, no. Uh, Underlying gay tones. I hate you. I really do. There's one, I, okay, you wouldn't. You'd marry Ben Affleck if you could. Um, Mark Wahlberg's more my style. You would. You fucking. Okay. I, I knew there's one. There's well, every, there's every guy. Everybody has a man crush. Well, yeah, I mean, Ben and Affleck was good in the town, but, you know, he's not, like... Mark Wahlberg is fucking... He's hot, dude. I mean, oof. Oof, just get hot. Well, I'll, I'll, wow, I said I'd marry Ben Foster. I didn't say... I didn't say I wouldn't cheat on with women, but, I mean, God, Pat. God, jeez. I don't know if we can be friends anymore. Eh, just take it. But, um, like always, guys, um, rate comment sub if you like what you're seeing and if you don't please tell us i mean we you know like tyler said we're firing blind over here dude he didn't say it like that but you you get the picture so uh, let us know guys and done